Hello guys, let me show you how to create a primary key that auto increment when new data is added. We are using SQL for that. It's instead of SQL Server, I am using Visual Studio for create our database. Okay, now you have to click view SQL Server Object Explorer for visit to this SQL Save Object Explorer and there is a SQL Saver select your MS SQL Local DB and right click it and now click New Query now let's create our database first create database and database name I'm going to use auto increment db finally use semicolon now you have to execute this okay now we can find our new database here this is the one auto increment db or you have to refresh to find that Now we have to create our table and add the primary key that takes auto increment. Right click and click new query. Now we can close our previous query. Also we can do it with this our previous SQL query but I'm going to close that and first you have to select your database that where we are going to create our table okay now let's create our table create table and table name I'm going to use primary table auto well that is enough and brackets open and close finally use semicolon for close the code now we have to provide our primary key ID that means a name for that we can provide student underscore ID that is better and we should make that as uh, int and use not null and there is a keyword for make auto increment that is identity great to create the primary key with this first I'm going to create a constraint and constraint for name this table is I'm going to use primary table constraint and now we can provide primary key as student ID student underscore ID now we can execute to create this table in our auto increment DB database let's execute click new query now we can close our previous query also we can do it with this our previous SQL query but I'm going to close that and First, you have to select your database that where we are going to create our table. Okay, now let's create our table. Create table and table name I'm going to use primary table 
auto well that is enough and brackets open and close finally use semicolon for close the code now we have to provide our primary key ID that means a name for that we can provide a student underscore ID that is better and we should make that as a int and use not null and there is a keyword for make auto increment that is identity great to create the primary key with this first I'm going to create a constraint and constraint for name this table is I'm going to use primary table constraint and now we can provide primary key as student ID student underscore ID now we can execute to create this table in our auto increment DB database let's execute okay now we can check our table in our SQL Server Object Explorer in our auto increment DB in tables this is our primary table auto okay now let's see the data click view data Alright, uh, let's add another column for this because we have to enter another value for create this row to update my primary table auto I'm going to create a new query for that I'm going to close this one and update my table by clicking my database and click new query alter and table and the table name is primary table auto and line space and contact number and that is Vasha and length for that is 13 now I have executed that by clicking this execute button and this is the change now I can right click my table and view data uh, I think I have to close my previous tab and open again right I'm going to put my contact number here oh that is a sample you can see there is a auto generated primary key and let's add another one okay hope you have learned something from this please subscribe to my youtube channel youtube.com slash s-c-i-k-e-r